I can't believe it's already been a year since we've been living on the boat. It's, yeah, crazy. it's crazy. And we can still go back to the day that we were driving, that we rented a minivan to pack all of our things and and just packed our dogs and our little belongings and we drove to South Carolina. Yeah, it was like a seven hour drive. Yeah. So how do you feel, baby? I'm <laughs> Are you happy? So we're doing the handover of the boat. So excited. Our new home feels like a dream. And we just went through the handover with Alf and I remember he was talking about all this, you know, explaining how to operate the boat from the water maker, the solar, the energy. And we had no, I mean, we had already lived in the travel trailer, but it was so completely different from living on a boat. And yeah. I personally, I had no idea what he was talking about. Like I would nod my head and I would pretend that I actually knew what he was saying, but honestly, but I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we were like so excited of just getting the boat and, and everything that that I mean he talked and we were like yeah yeah we get it we get it we get it but we I mean we didn't at, get it <laughs> at, at the time of using everything we didn't know how to use anything no but, that day we had tears in our eyes and it was such an emotional moment for us we had so many mixed emotions just because we felt so proud of ourselves it was you know we had been working so hard for six months to get the boat and just to figure out a way to make it happen and then it was kind of excitement and scary at the same time just because it felt like something that could be a lot bigger than than we could handle and that's why it was a bit scary as well we were getting something that we didn't know like how to use or drive or, or like the lifestyle yeah we had never had any sailing experience any boating experience all we did was an asa course like the week before that the handover like five days and that's it <laughs> and if you guys are curious and how we were able to buy this boat we wrote a guide an ebook on everything about our purchase from the financing companies insurance uh what we looked at when we were buying our boat and you know everything that went along with it i think you guys will find a lot of valuable information in that guide right yeah for sure and how do you feel about like the first time that we went out sailing oh man that was that was horrible <laughs> i mean i started like driving the boat i didn't even steer the boat like with the steering wheel, I was just using the engines. I was gonna crash the boat into a big yacht, <laughs> and then I was like, "Come on, I'm on. <laughs> yeah, that was." It oh. was so yeah. We were so nervous. It felt like a giant boat. We had the ASA. We did not a catamaran, but it just felt completely different. Our boat is a lot taller. It felt so much bigger, and it was just overall extremely nerve wracking. <laughs> with what we were doing and I mean would you do it again like that yeah I mean and it was very nervous and if we watch it from now it's like we're crazy like why would you just take a five-day course and go out we had the the chance to stay in the marina for the first month and then that day that we went out sailing for the first time we were actually forced to go out sailing for the first time because hurricane dorian was coming and we were freaking out we had just closed and we didn't want to lose you know the boat that we had worked so hard for due to a hurricane so we think of just going out heading north and then we just face ourselves with the biggest waves of earth we didn't take footage of it like enough footage of how no, scared we were, we were. Like, super scared yeah and but the waves were like head on and that weather it was raining thunder oh. Then we learned that we had to check the weather yeah. because we didn't check the weather before going. <laughs> we didn't 
know how tall how important. yeah how important and you know what kind of weights to look at like that's something that we learn okay we don't go out if we have head on waves like six foot head on waves not gonna happen like we don't go out yeah. but that hasn't been the only scary situation i remember when we were driving from south carolina to north to florida and we just dragged our anchor for the first time remember oh, yeah. like in a river or in something. a river so we were in the middle of a channel a small channel we anchored our boat and we just started working on our computers <laughs> and then we just felt the boat moving so much just yeah, going in we were, circles like going in circles we were laying down and we were I, I told andrea like i feel like i'm getting dizzy we're just like keep turning and turning <laughs> and we just laugh with ourselves we're like the boat has never moved so much before it's so weird but we're like oh we're probably not used to it just because we were in a marina before <laughs> crazy thing just happened like we were literally just i was just editing videos and alejandro alejo was just making orders and stuff and then out of nowhere the anchor alarm just beeps and we look back and we're like literally against those against the, the grass over there we're like literally on top of it like at least i don't know two three feet away i would say we were super close scary moment was when we got like that storm in north carolina that was like 50 something knots of wind and did we drag that time no we we didn't drag no, because we, you went okay, out okay i turned on the, the engines, engines and forward. forward and we saw this like mono hole that the the jeep opened it ripped he was dragging like sideways that's pretty intense the boat in front of us was actually dragging oh, was, towards yeah, us yeah, so we actually. had to prepare to either jump on that boat like move it was pretty intense and everything scary We just got the registration for the U.S. Coast Guard today. After seven months Horrible. of waiting for that registration, we finally got it. Yeah, so we're leaving tomorrow to the Bahamas. Super exciting. We're so ready. Yeah, we're super ready. So ready, we've never been this ready before. 
<laughs> oh man, that was so much fun. And when you caught your first fish. No. Oh, <laughs> what happened? You caught something? Oh my god, no way. What do I do? No way. I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh my god, our first fish. We're so nervous. Okay. How do you feel? Two <laughs> fish, one day. What the? What the? <laughs> <laughs> it was a barracuda. He was not, a barracuda. Not cool, dude. He was two in one day. It was, it was yeah, pretty fun. super exciting for him. And then when we lost our dengue. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> we just lost our dengue. <laughs> oh my goodness, he just flew away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. We almost lost our dinghy. Oh crap. <laughs> Baby, how did you lose your dinghy? Oh man, we could have put the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> and then some other fun times like when we had that big pig jump on our So boat. today is a super popular day because we are in Pig Beach. Baby, are you excited to see pigs? Yes, we're gonna see your family. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. It is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, as always, just regular things that we do every other day. I'm about to have a baby. I know. I'm so full too. Oh. Look at my back. Oh. It jiggles. <laughs> now, some of the fun things that we have done is like just going to remote places and seeing the dogs just like run free in the beach and like swimming in the clear water. Yeah, it's so it's so rewarding. Just like that's what you live on a boat for it's yeah. just those moments where we're kite surfing in paradise and it's just the perfect wind the perfect water crystal clear um, and the sunsets and <laughs> yeah it's it's incredible. it's incredible it's really really has been amazing and then for me you know that time that I got to swim with dolphins it was I swear it was a dream come true for me like I Oh my, my god, I can't. She even cried. So I cried. Like, it was. It was I, you know, it, I, it had been a dream for me, like, my entire life. And then, you know, the first time that we saw dolphins as we were sailing, it was just incredible. And seeing Echo, like, she's blind and she just gets so excited by seeing the. By, knowing that the dolphins are there because she obviously can't see them and then Ozzy gets super excited as well and it's just so exciting for us it's so rewarding I remember that time that we went in the water in Compass Key with sharks and I was so excited to go in the water with sharks that's so scary <laughs> I'm scared of sharks so for me it was pretty scary but yeah it's a thing that I want to get through it so yeah hopefully. and you decided to get in the water after yeah. a while right like yeah. Yeah, pretty tough guy, you know. You have to do what you have to do. <laughs> Excuse me, are you ready? Are you nervous? Are you really nervous? <laughs> My husband is so nervous. He has a, you don't know if you're going in? Viene, viene uno atrás. Si es otro atrás. <laughs> He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, shit. I don't want to step on the shark. <laughs> You're not going to step on one. Oh, See, they don't do anything. Hello. <laughs> and it's, it's awesome. Like, it's one of those things that you're like, okay, this is what I live in a boat for, right? <laughs> We've also had some amazing sailing moments, just the perfect weather and you know we're it just feels like I don't we're know floating. We're like, floating. Just, it's so just, peaceful, yeah, right? Yeah, going with the wind and everything is like yeah. It's incredible. It's, calm. it's so calm. <laughs> we're sailing and it's just perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh. And then on the other hand, we've had some tough moments. Rough weather. Rough weather. 
weather. Like choppy waves and everything is moving and waves hitting the bow, like splashing all over. Yeah. I just changed the, the, the engine belt, it broke somehow, I don't know how, but it broke like 30 minutes after we went out, so it seems to be working again, we're good, we can keep going, we're pretty dirty, but who cares, I guess we could keep going. I was like, yeah, I think we should turn back. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> yeah, and so he had to find a way to fix it. Yeah, just, just as went we were inside sailing. the engine thing and then... And we were still moving and then at the same time, you know, the engine turned off and you had to figure out what was happening. A few weeks later, we went into our boat yard and we learned how to paint the boat by ourselves. Yeah, bottom paint. We did the sail drives also. That's oh, it. we put the stickers on the boat, like the Hakuna stickers. Yeah, we had your parents helping us out yeah. and then my dad went the last day. We also learned from that one time we had a guy offer us to do like to clean the white part, the fiberglass of the boat with acid and then we had already done the paint. He cleaned it with acid and it just ruined our entire yeah. bottom paint. So it was 
something that we had to learn as well. We had to paint it a little bit over it again. But it's just things that we have learned throughout the way, right? We also had the generator and the inverter brake. And I don't know if we have already said this in our videos, but the worst part of our boat, the part that we would change in a heartbeat would be our generator. Yeah. It the whisper has, power generator. It Never sucks. buy one. It has given us, we have had issues with it over five times, I would say. The customer service is terrible, so we have, it was just a, it was a complete headache just dealing with the generator, dealing with the manufacturer, dealing with their distributors. It has been a pain, so, God. Yesterday, our inverter completely shut down for good. It stopped working. Ah, our generator, dead too. Uh, we, like, that broke, so we have had to deal with that. The inverter also stopped working. We got it exchanged. Luckily, SMA is a good company yeah. and the warrant they actually did the warranty on it. Uh, the water maker, remember, it also stopped working on us and we had to fill bottles of water for like Filling up some bottles of water so we can have water to take a shower and to survive. No, it wasn't the water maker. It was because we didn't have the inverter to run the water. Oh, uh, but then remember that time that we got air in the system? Because we didn't, we, know didn't know. Use it yet. <laughs> we didn't know how to use the water maker. These two last days were pretty stressful because we had no water. We were trying to get the water maker going. And since I changed the filters, air got in the system. I couldn't turn on like the water maker because it couldn't pump water from the sea since it had like air in the system. So yeah. It was really stressful. We just wanted to like abort mission. Nah, not really, and but yeah. Another time that we had to fix was the alternator that it wasn't charging the battery on the starboard side. So I thought it was the alternator. I took the alternator <laughs> off. I took it to a place. They told me it was fine. Then what was it? Oh, it was the battery that went bad. That, that yep. it was just like dead. So the yeah. Battery. We also had a hole in one of the in one of the hoses remember oh yeah like one one of the hoses was leaking water into the alternator right. yeah the alternator broke because a hose that had coolant got a hole started to spray water on the alternator and it dead yeah and then one of the hardest things that we have had to fix is when we were in the bahamas and we didn't have a pump like we didn't have a spare pump well we actually had a, a spare pump, pump a fresh water pump and it broke it stopped working and someone was kind enough to give us another pump we also had to get this part shipped out to the bahamas it was like 400 bucks yeah. right, we and just I made it back on the boat from our kite session and now we have a problem we were just about to shower to wash all the stuff and water is not working i don't know what happened it was working this morning and i don't know what happened to the pump it's not turning on. We turn this thing on, no water comes out. And well, that was a big learning curve right there. Yeah, Alejo also had to learn how to install the air conditioning unit. Yeah, so at first I was pretty nervous to do the the air conditioning, like do the install. But then I like we went to a place that they they explained like how it was and they showed they showed us like a diagram, pictures and everything, and it was real simple. So yeah, I just started just taking the boat apart and putting hoses through everywhere and, yep. and now it works perfectly. It's perfect. Yeah. I wouldn't get a catamaran without AC. Yeah. That's, it's one yeah. of the best things that we did is just installing AC on the boat. Summer was really tough without the AC. I can't imagine going yeah, through summer horrible. without it, especially for our dogs and for us. Um, it's good to have it. If you don't have it, it's going to be really painful, yeah. especially in humid and I mean, hot people places. Say that you can live without the AC. I'm sure you can, but you have to shower like 10 times a day <laughs> and then you're gonna have a bad night because yeah. it's gonna be humid and yeah, no, mosquitoes 100%. everywhere. And some of the other things that broke were like a bunch of plumbing things. And we had a leak below this tank or near this tank, but I, could, I couldn't get the tank out. So I have to disconnect the tank and see if I can get in there and figure out how to take this one out and put a new one in. 
Baby, you've learned so much in this very last much. year. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? I am. <laughs> he should be very proud. He's the one that keeps this boat floating. Because yes. if it was for me, I, I don't think You'll I would be, be able to do it. be already in the middle of the Atlantic <laughs> in the bottom of the ocean. Yes. For me, my toughest moment was when we were in the Bahamas. And after doing the bottom, cleaning the bottom of the boat, I didn't realize it until I saw the footage that I went with a globe after doing, you know, going through the boat yeah. stuff and I put it on my face and then I got this terrible acne on my face. I was crying pretty much every single day just because I had never had acne like that before. It was so scary for me. I didn't, we were away, it was COVID. We couldn't access a doctor. We couldn't access medicine. I didn't know what to do with my face and it was so scary for me and I was yeah, Super that was sad. a bad moment. That was yeah. a bad moment. For you, what was your toughest moment? <sighs> Unplugging the black water tank. <laughs> oh yeah, that's disgusting. That's <laughs> disgusting, you know. <laughs> it's like I had to go with the hose from outside. I put the hose like on the boat. And once I took out the hose, like all the poop came out. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> you know, someone once told us, <laughs> everyone has a poop story. Just if you don't have it, yours is going to come just wait just for wait it. for it <laughs> but everyone has it that one of the best moments that we've had is just kite surfing in the perfect water of the bahamas for me that was like a dream come yeah, true i think that was definitely nice. the best moment for me what about you i think it's sailing like it's sailing yeah sailing like on the clear water perfect weather going pretty like you remember that time we were going like eight knots but the only scary thing is that we had like a foot and a half below the keel of of like water yeah but yeah we're going like seven knots flat water off oh, it was pretty it's perfect yeah. what yeah. do you expect for the second season of more kiting more kiting definitely yeah. more, kiting more kiting because i think this year we had to sacrifice of our t a lot of our time just to learn the ins and outs of the boat and we expected to do a lot more kiting that's actually the reason why we bought the boat in the first place and i think now we know like where we can anchor where we can't anchor and like because like normally like this first year we, we were pretty conservative mm -hmm. and now i think we can like anchor in, in, in choppy water and just go kiting and then just move the boat to go to sleep 100 yeah. yeah. and then some of the other things that we want to do this year are going to be we're buying scuba diving gear so we're very we excited <laughs> behold we're very excited to just scuba dive a lot for this season and also learn how to spearfish because it was yeah. the one, one time we did it in Bahamas it we failure. sucked at it <laughs> so. we're gonna get more spearfishing things though no? totally we're definitely working on getting a lot better oh and also hopefully the COVID travel restrictions are not going we'll be to over. yeah they're not they'll be over or if not at least we'll be able to this just time cruise. Yeah. this time we're going to the Bahamas a lot earlier and we're planning on just going, seeing the entire Caribbean. Our goal is to make it at least to Grenada, hopefully to Colombia or Guatemala. And so definitely join us for that, guys. Yeah. And we're very excited to share what's coming with you. If you haven't, subscribe to our channel, right? Make sure to hit that little red button that says <laughs> little subscribe. Red subscribe. And you click the little bell and hit all notifications so you can be notified each time that we release a brand new video. And also, guys, check out the merch Andrea puts a lot of time into the designs and everything so mm -hmm. yeah just check it out see what you like yep. maybe buy one maybe yeah. not see you later and I think this is where we leave you for the next video yeah. right we'll see you on the next one hope you enjoyed bye. it as much as we did bye <laughs>